you ask, and the Quran answers part 2. 17. Who is the last messenger? Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, so he is not the father of Zayd, therefore his marrying his wife is not impermissible for him when Zayd divorces her. However, he is the messenger of Allah sent to the people and the seal of the prophets, there is no prophet to come after him. Allah is the knower of everything, nothing is hidden from him from the affairs servants. al 40 18. To whom did Allah send the last messenger prophet Muhammad? And I did not send you, O messenger, except for the sake of all of mankind, to give good news to the pious that for them is paradise, and to warn the disbelievers and transgressors of the fire. But most people do not know that. Had they known, they would not have denied you. As Saba 28. O Muhammad, have not sent you as a messenger, except as a merciful one to the whole of creation. This is because you are distinguished with aspiring for the guidance of all people and their safety from the punishment of Allah. al Anbiya 107. O humankind, any good that pleases you, such as wealth or children, is from Allah. He has sent it to you through His grace. Whatever bad occurs to you in respect of your wealth or children is from your own self because of the sins you commit. I have sent you, O Prophet, as a messenger to all people to communicate to them the message of your Lord. Allah is enough of a witness to the truth of what you communicate from Him because of the evidences and proof He has given you. And Nisa 709 Blessed is Allah who revealed the Quran as a standard distinguishing between truth and falsehood unto his servant and messenger Muhammad peace be upon him. So that he could be a messenger towards the humans and the jinn and a warner to them of the punishment of Allah. al Furkan 1 Allah tells the Prophet, peace be upon him, to inform people that he is the messenger of Allah to them all, both Arabs and non-Arabs. Allah alone controls the heavens and the earth. There is nothing worthy of worship other than him, glory be to him. He brings the dead to life and causes what is alive to die. People should have faith in Allah and in Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Prophet, his messenger, who cannot read or write, and who came only with what his Lord revealed to him, in order to guide them to what is good for them in this world and in the afterlife. Al Arawaf 7158 19. What did Allah prepare for those among the Jews and Christians who believe? O those who have faith in Allah and act upon whatever he has legislated for them. In Musa, Moses, i.e. Jews, and Isa, Jesus, i.e. Christians. Be mindful of Allah by fulfilling his commands and refraining from the things he has not allowed. He will give you double the reward for your bringing faith in Muhammad, peace be upon him, and in the previous messengers. He will also create for you a light through which you will be guided in your worldly life and which you shall use on the bridge on the day of judgment. He will also forgive your sins and not take you to account for them. And Allah is the bestower of great favors to his servants, no limiter can limit his favor, nor can anyone count it. Al-Hadid, 57, 28 Those who have faith from the nation of Muhammad, peace be upon him, and from the communities who came before him, from the Jews. The Christians and Sabians, said to be a group who followed prophets who were of the faith of Abraham, peace be upon him, will have their reward with their Lord. They will not fear what awaits them in the afterlife, nor grieve over what happened to them on earth. This was the case before the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent. Now his message of Islam, devotion and dedication to Allah, is the only way of life accepted by Allah, as he said, whoever seeks a path other than Islam. It will not be accepted from him, Surah Al-Anran, 85. Al-Baqarah, 62. The believers in Muhammad and the Jews. Sabians and Christians before Muhammad, whichever of them believes Allah and the last day and does good actions, they will have no fear for the future and will not be sad over that which they. Missed in the worldly life. Almida, 69. In order to understand these ayat correctly, we need to refer to the scholars of Tafsir, Quranic commentary. The great Imam Ismail Ibn Kathir, may Allah have mercy on him, said in his Tafsir of the Ayah from Surah al Baqarah. Allah, may he be exalted, points out that whoever of the previous nations did well and was obedient, will have a good reward. And this will be the case for everyone who follows the unlettered Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, until the hour comes, he will have eternal happiness. And they will not fear what they are going to face, nor will they grieve for what they have left behind. As Allah says, interpretation of the meaning no doubt.
Verily, the Aliyah of Allah, I, those who believe in the oneness of Allah and fear Allah much, and love Allah much, no fear shall come upon them, nor shall they grieve. Yunus 10 hours 62 minutes. And Allah tells us what the angels say to the believers at the time of death, interpretation of the meaning. Verily, those who say, Our Lord is Allah, then they is to Kamu, stood straight, i.e., truly followed Islam, on them the angels will descend, at the time of their death, saying. Fear not, nor grieve. But receive the glad tidings of paradise which you have been promised. Fasilat 41.30 As far as the Jews are concerning, their faith meant believing in the Torah, original Torah, and following the way of Musa, peace be upon him, until Isa came. After which whoever continued to follow the Torah and the way of Musa, and did not leave this and follow Isa, was doomed. As far as the Christians are concerned, their faith meant believing in the Injil, original gospel, and following the laws of Isa. Whoever did this was a believer whose faith was acceptable to Allah, until Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, came. After which whoever did not follow Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and leave the way of Isa and the Injil that he had been following before, was doomed. The ayah, interpretation of the meaning, and whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him, and in the hereafter he will be one of the losers, A.A.L. Imran 3. 85, is a statement that Allah will not accept any way or deed from anyone, after sending his final messenger. Except those that are in accordance with the laws of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Prior to this, however, anyone who followed the Prophet of his own time was on the straight path of salvation. So the Jews were those who followed Musa, peace be upon him, and referred to the Torah for judgment at that time. When Allah sent Isa, peace be upon him, the children of Israel were obliged to follow him and obey him. And so they and others who followed him became Christians. When Allah sent Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, as the final prophet and a messenger to all the children of Adam. All of mankind was obliged to believe in him and obey him, and refrain from what he prohibited. Those who did so are the true believers. The Yuma nation, of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, are called the believers because of their deep iman, faith, and conviction. And because they believe in all the past prophets and in the prophesied events that are yet to come. Commenting on the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ibn Kathir, may Allah have mercy on him, said. What is meant is that every group believed in Allah and the last day, which is the appointed day of reckoning, and did righteous deeds. But after Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was sent to both mankind and the jinn. True belief can only be in accordance with the way of Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Whoever follows his way will not fear the future or grieve for what they leave behind. 20. What is the likeness of LSA, Jesus, before Allah? With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? Ali Imran, 59. 21. What did Allah say about Mary? Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said to Mary, Peace be upon her Allah has chosen you because of the praiseworthy qualities you have. He has purified you from all defects and chosen you over all the other women of your time. O Mary, stand for long periods in prayer. Prostrate to your Lord and bow down with his righteous servants who bow down to him. The story of Zechariah and Mary is one of the reports of, the Gabe, which I reveal to you, O Messenger. You were not there with those scholars and worshippers when they argued about who was most entitled to raise Mary. They eventually decided to draw lots by throwing their pens, and the pen of Zechariah, peace be upon him, won. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this world and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. This child will miraculously speak to people when he is a small baby, as well as when he grows up and becomes a man. He will tell them what is best for them in their religious and worldly affairs. He will also be one of those who are righteous in their words and action. Mary was surprised that she was to have a child without a husband and said in astonishment, How can I have a child when no man has come near me in a lawful or unlawful way? The angel said to her, Just as Allah will create a child for you without a father, he creates whatever he wishes even though it may be out of the ordinary. When Allah wishes for something, he says be and it is. 
nothing can stop him doing as he wills. Ali Imran 42-47 22. Was Jesus crucified and died on the cross? I curse them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. And Nisa 157-158 23. Was Jesus the Son of God, Allah? Say, O Messenger, He is Allah who is alone in being a deity. There is no deity except Him. Say, He is Allah, who is, one. Alone, without another, indivisible with absolute and permanent unity and distinct from all else. The one and only true deity, unique in His essence, attributes and deeds. He is the Master to whom belongs all sovereignty and perfect, beautiful qualities. The one to whom all creation turn to. Allah, the eternal refuge. He who is absolute, perfect, complete, essential, self-sufficient and sufficient to meet the needs of all creation. The one eternally and constantly required and sought, depended upon by all existence and to whom all matters will ultimately return. The one who did not give birth to anyone, nor did anyone give birth to him. So he has no offspring, may he be glorified, nor any parent. He neither begets nor is born. Nor does he have any equal from his creation. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran, Eklos, 112,1-4 The Jews, the Christians and the idolaters, who worship others alongside Allah, said that Allah had taken a son. He is far above and beyond such a thing, because he has no need of his creation, and no one has a son unless he is needy, and to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. All created beings are his servants, in submission to him, glory be to him. They are his servants, and he deals with them as he wills. Al-Baqarah 116 Yet the idolaters made the jinn partners with Allah in worship believing that the jinn can independently bring benefit and cause harm, whilst Allah alone had created them. So he is most worthy of being worshipped. And out of their ignorance they attributed sons to Allah as the Jews did with respect to Uzair, and the Christians with respect to Jesus and also daughters. Allah is free and above what the people of falsehood claim about him. He, may he be glorified, is the creator of the heavens and the earth without any precedent. How can he have a child when he has no wife? He created everything and knows everything. Nothing is hidden from. Alanam 100-101 Say, O Messenger, all praise is for Allah who deserves all types of praise and who is exalted from having a child or a partner, thus he has no partner in his kingdom. And he is not afflicted by disgrace or weakness, hence he has no need for anyone to help and support him. So exalt him abundantly, and do not attribute any child or partner to him nor any helper or supporter. Al-Isra 111 Allah has not taken a child as the disbelievers claim, nor is there any true deity alongside him. If there were to be any true deity alongside him, every deity would take his share of the creation he made and they would dominate one another, causing the order of the universe to become corrupt. The reality is that none of this has occurred, proving that the true deity is Allah alone. He is pure and holy of what the idolaters describe him with, namely partners and children which are unbefitting for him. Al-Mu'minin 91 And the idolaters made blood ties between Allah and the angels when they claimed the angels are Allah's daughters and their mothers are the elite jinns. But the jinns already know Allah will bring them to be reckoned, so if there was lineage between him and them he would not bring them for that. Pure is Allah and exalted from what the idolaters describe him with of that which does not befit him, such as children, partners. As Safat 158-159 O Messenger! Say to those who attribute daughters to Allah, who is exalted greatly from their statement, if, hypothetically, Allah had a child, then I would be the first to worship that child. The Lord of the heavens, the earth and the throne is pure of the statements of attributing partners, wives and children of these idolaters. So O Messenger! 
leave them to continue in whatever falsehood they are engrossed in, and let them enjoy until they meet the day which they have been promised. They will soon know the outcome of their actions and regret it. A.Z. Zukruf, 81-83 We have believed that he exalted be the grandeur and majesty of our Lord has not taken any wife nor child as the idolaters say. Algin, 3 Some of the idolaters said, Allah has taken the angels as daughters. Allah is free of their statement. He, may he be glorified, is self-sufficient and is not in need of any of his creation. The control of whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. You, O oh idolaters, do not have any proof for this statement of yours. Are you saying such a serious statement about Allah by attributing a child to him even though you do not know the reality of this and you have no proof? Eunice, 68 The Jews, the Christians and some of the idolaters said, The merciful has taken a son. You, who say this, have indeed brought something monstrous. The heavens almost rupture because of this detested statement, the earth almost splits, and the mountains almost fall in ruins. All of this, because they have attributed a son to the merciful. Allah is high above that by far. It is not befitting of the merciful to take a son as he is pure of that. There is no angel, human being or jinn in the heavens and earth, but that he will come in submission to his Lord on the day of judgment. He has full knowledge of them and has numbered them exactly. Nothing of theirs is hidden from him. Each one of them will come to him on the day of judgment alone, without any helper or any wealth. Maryam 88-95 24. How could you be secure? Those who believe in Allah follow his laws and did not pollute their faith with polytheism, they will be the ones who will be safe and secure. They are the ones to whom their Lord has shown the path of guidance, al 82. On the day of judgment, whoever brings faith and good deeds will gain paradise and will be safe from the horrors of that day due to Allah granting them that safety. And whoever comes with disbelief and sins, for them will be the hellfire in which they will be thrown face first. It will be said to them by way of rebuke and humiliation, Are you being requited except for the disbelief and the sins you used to commit? And Namla 89-90 the friends of Allah will not have any fear of the terrors to come on the day of rising and they will not grieve over the pleasures of the world that they missed. The friends of Allah are those who possess the qualities of having faith in Allah and following his messenger, they are mindful of Allah by fulfilling his instructions and avoiding his prohibitions. There is good news for these friends of Allah from their Lord, which will make them happy in the life of this world by means of good dreams and praise from people. They will also receive good news from the angels when they take away their souls. Allah's promise will never be broken. That reward is the great success because it entails the fulfillment of their desires and salvation from what they fear. Eunice 62-64 Indeed, those who say, Our Lord is Allah. We have no Lord besides Him, then they become firm on faith and good actions, there will be no fear on them in what they face in the hereafter. Nor will they grieve over the fortune of this world's which escaped them or what they left behind them. Those who are attributed with those qualities are the people of paradise who will live in it forever, as a reward for them for their good deeds that they sent forward in the world. Alakafa 13-14